Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys so much for tuning into a brand new Makeup Monday. It is your girl Tabitha here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So today this video has been long <laughs> overdue. I will finally be testing out some new Dollar Tree makeup. Um, we have highlighters here. We have some lipsticks, lip glosses, bronzers, all that stuff. We're going to go ahead and hop right on into it. Okay, guys, so we are going to go ahead and get started. I am going to quickly use the LA Colors Brown um, Brow Tint. As you guys can see, I already did my brows off camera, but I have not set them yet. So let's go ahead and try out this. Ooh, this is a really this is a little bit um lighter than my brows um but let's just go ahead and just see what happens with this Clearly see if you look close enough you can definitely see that this is a little bit lighter than how my brows are now. So I should have tried this by itself and then just tried to fill it in. So I'll have to use this again but we'll just see if my eyebrows stay in place because again you can use it to fill in your brows and set. And this was the darkest color that I saw so what can you do? So we're going to move on to these smoothing face primers. So I think that I am going to use the color correcting one underneath my eyes and just on my dark areas, um, mustache area, and then I'm going to use the smoothing primer. It says that this is good for the pores, so I'll probably just use this on, you know, more of my T-zone area and the rest of my face. So, whoa, clear white. Let's see if it dries clear. Okay guys, so you can clearly see that it leaves a little bit of a cast, um, and I don't know, I wouldn't really consider it like smoothing. I guess we'll see when I put on my foundation. Um, I'm kind of afraid to put this on the rest of the face, but um, let's go into the cool pink one and we'll put this on and see. What happens? I'm just gonna get out a little bit at a time. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, we're looking real casket ready. It's a definite cast. I'm just going to take the white one and put that on the rest of the face. Okay, guys. Yeah. So you can definitely see. I see a little bit of peeling on my nose. I am going to go ahead and wear my L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation today. This is in the color 515 Copper. Finished blending out the rest of my foundation. I do want to point out that the primers didn't have any sort of smell or anything at all to them, which is always a plus for us sensitive skin folks and just people who don't like scent in their products. So that's what I liked about it. I kind of felt it's you definitely don't need to use a lot of it because if you use too much. You can see a little bit of peeling and also it will be a little bit harder to blend out. So just finish blending out my foundation and I can say that so far so good. So usually I do put on three pumps but I feel like that the primer kind of helped to conceal some of that darkness which I like. So that is a plus. It feels pretty good on top of the foundation. Um, the primers also felt lightweight, which is always a plus as well. Okay. 
I see you. So next, let's try this highlight and contour pencil, which I'm a little afraid. I'm going to go ahead and just, oh, oh, I wasn't expecting it to be so smooth. Let's go ahead and just, oh, that's kind of nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and contour and see how that works out. You guys know I don't contour my nose a ton anymore. And then let's highlight that. Oh, wow. it does um, feel pretty smooth um, it does come with a sharpener which I like and we're gonna highlight the nose as well a little bit of the forehead wow I wasn't that kind of shook I was kind of shook off that let's go I'm gonna go ahead and use the same sponge which is the real techniques face and body miracle sponge and let's blend it up Sponge is getting a little bit damp, so I am just going to take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Rose Spray and finish blending this out. Oh yeah, much better. that was a workout so it does take a gazillion years to blend this out oh my gosh it's so smooth too um when you're applying but it is just so hard to blend out so i would definitely be careful on the technique of how you apply it i think doing the lines for it wasn't the best either um I don't even know how you would apply I guess just light light strokes don't go too heavy um, and then you can always build it up I think that's probably the best thing to do but overall it did say on the package that it was going to give a natural finish and I do kind of feel that um, it was more it's more on the natural side this pencil here I did get the darkest shade which is medium deep for the contour and highlight pencil so far I think it's pretty it's okay I just don't like the fact that it takes super long to blend out I think the pencil idea was pretty cool but I don't know I think the formula is just okay um, it is given a natural finish it is pretty light um, it'll be interesting to see how it wears throughout the day but so far so good I'm going to go into the beauty benefits contour palettes since that was more of like a cream consistency I'm going to go ahead and set that so I'm going to use a you know more of a um, flat brush and I'm going to use the darker shade to set the um, contour and I'm going to use this lighter shade here if I can get it open okay so check that out let's go ahead and okay not a ton of fallout which is always a plus look at that your girl is chiseled baked i am gonna go in actually i'm gonna go in let's go in with this black radiance powder and i'm gonna kind of carve out the cheekbones a little bit more with this
I kind of put this on. Putting it on the brush, it kind of comes off like it's like a translucent powder. But, I mean, it's pretty nice on the skin. I am getting some peeling on the nose area here. Um, and that's probably just due to the, um, the primer. Okay, guys, next up, why don't we go into the mascara next. This is the Wet n Wild 5 Times Plumper. Yeah, just your standard applicator. And let's put on some mascara. Okay guys, so I definitely don't know about it being the five times plumper. I did feel like it did help to separate the lashes. And I think if you're kind of just doing like a brow and mascara type of day, lip gloss type of day, then this would be the mascara to use. Very like a natural mascara. I don't feel like it's very black like the package suggests, but it's nice. It's not, it's not bad for just like wearing on your average day. Why don't we apply some highlighter? So I do have two different um, highlighting powders here that are like, they have two in each one. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch each one. So these two colors are from the first palette here. And then we have the next two here. I do think that all of them actually are kind of too light for me. But um, let's see. Let's try to go in with this one first. I'm also going to be using a Sonia Kashyyyk highlighting brush. And I'm kind of just going to mix the two. So yeah, just your standard fallout. Just initially, that is not bad. Not bad at all. Really, really pretty. I'm going to go in with this one, the other highlighting one. And let's go ahead and put that on the nose. They're nice, but I do think they're just too light for my skin tone. Kind of getting a little ashiness on the camera. I'm going to go in with my finishing powder, which is the LA Girl Pro Face Matte Pressed Powder. I'm going to go back in with the same brush that I used to set my highlights. And I'm going to use that to set the rest of the face and wipe off this banana powder. Okay, next up, let's try some of these lip products because I'm really, really excited about those. Actually, before we do that, why don't we try... Let's give it a try I'm gonna go back into the contour palette I'm going to use these shades and let's see if we can kind of put something on our eyes here let's see if we can use it um, as an eyeshadow Okay, guys, so that wasn't too bad. Not too bad. Okay, guys, so let's go into these kind of liquid illuminators. Um, I'm going to go in with the... This is actually a skin illuminator, so I'm just going to do a quick swatch of it. It's bomb. I only use a little bit of it right here, but in the summertime, use it as a... That's going to be nice. I'm going to quickly swatch these LA color liquid illuminators so the first one is brazen and look at that we gonna put that on top of this of the casket uh, that's that's what we're gonna call that one casket check out those guys you guys know my swatches are always bad but you can basically see I'm gonna go back into brazen and we're definitely gonna put some of this on the skin I'm just gonna use my fingers I'm just gonna use a little bit at a time That was actually really pretty, but 
um, this dries really quick so you cannot just dot it all over um, you definitely have to use a little bit at a time but this is like really really fire we about to put some more on top of that next up let's try the beauty benefits liquid lipsticks the first color here is I don't remember what the color is and they don't have it on here at all but let's give it a try it actually smells pretty good this is the first color here so again very easy to apply this is a smaller applicator so it will take some time um, a couple of passes through but this is really nice we're not gonna let it dry down because we are going to put on top the LA colors shiny lip gloss in the color glance which this should be a red it looks like it's red check out this applicator y'all these are let's put it on top did you guys instantly see the difference like I'm telling you guys get these LA color shiny lip glosses you will definitely not be disappointed okay guys now let's put on the mauve color the lip liner helped a little bit again I should have put on the lip liner first but I don't know it does I guess it does look exactly like the two okay guys it does say that these are supposed to go down to a matte finish so I'm gonna let this dry down and then really quickly I'm gonna set my face using the wet and wild photo focus three in one primer water so we do have the pressed um, highlighter and bronzer this highlighter is called glow time so your girl is just about to swatch it and yeah that's what we're working with there that is way too light for my skin tone but I am gonna take the um, eyeshadow brush and we are gonna put this on the lid Are going to swatch this bronzer so these bronzers typically don't look the best on me they're just better to use as a highlight but we're just gonna go in with the same brush that I used to contour and let's just put on a little bit of it I mean why not I didn't use a ton of it yeah to me bronzers I have to, I guess I have to find like a really deep one or maybe not wear a contour and then kind of wear bronzer but to me bronzers are basically like highlighters they just don't you know last but not least we have these LA colors loose face and body shimmers so this first one is called fairy dust they do I did take off the pull tabs but these pull tabs were very actually kind of a little bit above the rim which made it easier to take off which I appreciate right here look how pretty that is very very nice very shimmery very sparkly Next, let's go into Sugar Dust. Okay, guys, we have Sugar Dust right there. I am sorry if you cannot see these right. But let's just go ahead and put a little bit on the eyes. I mean, okay. Again, guys, we're just planning makeup, you know. This doesn't necessarily go together, but <laughs> next up. We have the color Magical Dust. I love, I just love these containers too. Again, that is probably doing it no justice whatsoever. But I am going to put a little bit on my face because I just cannot resist. I cannot. I have way too much highlighter on my face and your girl's got to go to work too. No, no. 
so this is the finished look again just playing around with makeup this stuff doesn't necessarily go together but just trying everything out so again all this stuff i found at the dollar tree so you guys make sure to check out your local dollar tree to find these goodies as well so if you guys have tried any of this makeup please comment down below and let me know your experiences i want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this video as always i appreciate you guys so much for watching and i'll check you guys out in the next one bye